this is how the flow of power works. You let them sell you. Let them sell you on what they're doing. Alright? Once they sell you on what they do, then you do the process of actually offering the value for business to them. So you start with, a, with an elevation speech? Yes. No, I don't start with that. No, I want to hear his elevator speech. He doesn't need to hear mine. Because when he hears mine, by the time he hears mine, anything I say is mine. What I say works. So that's the way I like to do this. Now, if you ask me, hey, Rick, what do you do? Which you did? I'm like, we're a little real estate investor. We buy commercial real estate properties. So tell me, I don't want him to know what I do yet. I want him to actually trust me. You see what I'm saying? That's the key to doing this. If you want to raise money, that's how you raise money. You get to the place where those people trust you, where those people respect you, because you have offered value to them, and you've never asked anything. That is the real key to really building it to a place where you're doing it. So you refer business. Once that takes place and you develop that, and I'll, and I'll give you an example. I did this with a banker. I told you guys a part of the story. Remember when I told you that I walked up to the branch, talked to the guy, said, man, I'm really impressed with you. Why don't you give me some business cards so I can pass them out? Then I pass them out, and then I call him a week later and say, hey, bud, how are you? Hey, great. Hey, listen. Just call me because I ran out of cards. Can we meet for lunch so I can get you some, so I can get some more from you? Well, this guy was flabbergasted. He could not believe that I had done that. So we go to lunch. Now at lunch, he gives me a stack of cards this big, and I give him some of my cards. That's my only first time I've talked a little bit about my business and just gave him some cards. So now we're buddy buddy. I'm buddy buddy with this banker guy. Then what I do is within 30 days, I actually refer business back to him by sending an email to him and CCing the client and saying, hey, you guys need to work something out. I know you wanted a loan. I know you offer services. If you guys hook up, good luck. So now he really knows that I'm offering value to him, and he feels like he owes me. Typically, about that time, what ends up happening is they call you to thank you for the referral, and they say, you've got to tell me, what is it that you do? And that, my friend, is what I tell in my speech, is I make people money. You follow me? That's when the door is open for you to say, I'm in the real estate business, I work with investors, and we perform. And on top of it, my friend, if you want to be working with me, there's a way that I can get you paid just for referring business. Now, I offered him value first, have I not? So he's seen what I'm about already. So when I say I will make you money for referring business, you see how much more powerful that is than if I were to say it for the very first time we met. So you can go into the same place that I'm at, talk to the same exact guy, give him your elevator pitch, and he will not refer any business to you. Because he's thinking, who's this guy that came here and started pitching me at my bank with all this crap? No, forget you. But if you use what I just did, that person's going to come back to you and say, you know what, that's great. You know what, in fact, I was talking to a client the other day. I know his bank balance is $345,000 and 25 cents. He's making 1.5% interest right now in his money market account. And he was talking about getting in real estate. You know what? Maybe I'll set up a meeting. Is that valuable for me, by the way? Yes. So at that point, I said, that's great. Well, let's do this. I don't know him. I don't personally know this guy. So the best thing that we can do is, why don't you set up a time where we sit down for lunch? The three of us. Anybody want to know why that's important? Do you know what? No. Okay. Tell him. You say what? Okay. Here's why. Here's why. Who does this investor know? The Not me. He knows the banker. Chances are he has a trust relationship with the banker. My objective is to sit down with the banker and the investor because I want the actual banker to transfer that credibility and trust over to me. When he transfers the credibility over to me in the introduction, then now I have complete open opportunity to discuss investments with this client. That's the real trick. You say, Rick, how do you raise money? That's how you raise money. Because now, I have a banker saying, hey, how are you doing, John? Uh, I have a Rick Valero here, he's a real estate investor, a great friend of mine. I mean, he just offers value and facts. He brought all these clients to me, so now he's ran, you know, rambling about it. And he's really successful in real estate investing. Because what does he keep saying? Everything I told him, right? So, except he magnifies it for some reason. And from that discussion, I said, well, thanks for that, that kind introduction. And I always try to follow the humor, so I'll say, I think very well to say that. And he kind of just smiled. 
And then from there we start talking. I said, well, you know, we are real estate investors. We invest in both residential and commercial real estate. Uh, we do have a portfolio of investments, and we typically like to protect our investors by hedging their risk. Diversifying. Let me ask you a question. Are you already currently investing in real estate? And now I'm asking him questions so that I can feel him out. And next thing you know, I say, you know what, I'll give you some information so that you can read about our company. I might have my book that me at that point, the credibility that you guys have, just so that at least you know who we are. And then maybe we'll follow up and get some coffee sometime and talk about some of the other work. Is that fair? Very simple. Can anybody do that, by the way? Yes, yes. Very simple. That's what happens. From that first referral, sometimes it'll be the first referral, sometimes it's right before the referral, where they're jumping out of the gate saying, how do we JV together? And then from there, I would actually craft an actual joint venture document between the, the, whoever is the sponsor and myself so that they know that if they bring a referral, I'm not going to go around it. I'm actually going to compensate them. So now we have a legal binding contract that gives us the ability to work together. And then you move forward. You guys okay? Is that something? Yeah.